Welcome to my channel, Catherine the Paint. Today I am doing a tumbler with a temporary ta tattoo on it. So I have already, um, off camera, sanded it down and cleaned it up and spray painted it. And now I'm using 15 milliliters of resin to just lightly resin it so I can get ready for the glitter. I have it on my hand instead of on the cup turner and it just makes it easier to control. So um, then I put a piece of paper down and now I'm putting my glitter on, just sprinkling it over straight out of the bottle and catching it on the paper. This is called Shattered Glass. I really love this glitter. It is from Franz Glitter and More. The link will be below. So once I get it completely covered with glitter, then I am going to put it on a paper towel rack and let it dry. So you want to make sure you use light amount of resin so it doesn't run. And while you guys are here, please uh, subscribe and hit the like button and the notification bell so you don't miss anything. It really helps my channel out. I really, really appreciate it. So now I am patting the glitter down. Just you want to make sure that you can get it as flat as possible. This is chunky glitter, so... Um, I didn't know you could use a piece of parchment paper and lay it over that to get it um, flat. So just to let you guys know. So now we're putting on uh, the next layer of resin. I use 30 milliliters on this one, this step, because the chunky glitter really needed to be covered. So it took a little bit more resin than the first step. All right. So we are going to cut our, out our owl to put on this shattered glass tumbler. So, just thought I'd talk to you for a few minutes, since so much of this is sped up, and tell you that even my mistakes, I'm not going to let them discourage me, because this is a learning process. Your art should always challenge you. And you want to grow and learn new things so don't be afraid to fail because it will lead to your greatest successes so it's enough preaching <laughs> all right I sanded this down a little bit this glitter I should have used parchment paper I didn't know that trick though then so when you put your glitter on, you can cover it with parchment paper and pat it down to help it lay down. So this one was kind of wild and crazy. So, all right, so we're gonna take the plastic off of that. All right. <clears throat> so I think I want it just about a half an inch from each top and bottom so I'm going to take this plastic covering off now let's flip it over I've only done two of these temporary tattoos but it is they are pretty easy to deal with and they are a lot of fun but once you put it down don't try to move it all right, so I have a rag and I have a bowl of water here. Just gonna dip that in there. It doesn't matter if it drips. We're gonna give it time to dry before we put the next coat of resin. Um, so you're gonna wanna try to get out all the bubbles. So we're just getting it wet. All over it, all right. Now you're going to go from the middle part, and I start at the top, and go from the middle and go out. And then I just work my way down. I'm sure there's other ways. It doesn't matter. Just to make sure it's all pressed on there really good and that you get the bubbles out. Let's 
see if it's coming off. Yay! Ooh. See, that is pretty easy. That is an awesome image. All right, so now I'm going to let this dry for about 10 or 15 minutes. Got a couple other things I need to do, and I will be back, and then we'll put another coat of resin on there. Wow, that's so much fun. All right, be right back. All right, so <laughs> I said goodbye to you guys, and then I decided I wanted to add this little feather onto the back of it. So what I'm going to do is now I'm going to try to line up with his beak straight down the bottom of the cup. So right there, straight up. So I want it to be in the very back. So I think I want to line it up about right there. It's a little feather with a shadow feather. I'm going to take, I've already cut it out. I'm going to take the plastic off. All right, so Let's see. How up straight do I want it to be? Hmm. Yep, I pretty want I want it pretty straight. So that curve right there in the middle of my fingernail of my index. Make it straight, hopefully. Or semi straight. It doesn't have to be exact. All right, and now this will be quick. Just cover it with water. So this will be just like a little surprise on the back. Just like a nice touch, I think. Yay! All right, the shadow is not very noticeable. I knew that that was not going to be, which makes it even more intriguing. So when you get in a certain light, you can see it better, the shadow. I don't know if you can see it very good. But thought that would be fun on the back of that. All right. Now we are going to let it dry for a couple minutes or a few minutes and then we will put the second coat of resin on it. Okay, so now I'm putting on the last layer and I'm using 20 milliliters of the resin. So this will be a really quick cover and we will see the All results. Right. This little owl is done. I am loving this cup. The sparkle is amazing. Yes, he looks really good on this shattered glass glitter and the little extra feather on the back is cute, I think. All right, guys, there it is. Thank you so much for hanging with me. Please let me know what you think. I will be doing some more tumblers in different styles, but had to do this guy first. Please like and subscribe. Be inspired.